Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing an Amazon Prime Day haul. So, Amazon Prime Day was recently, it was the 15th and 16th, I believe, and I've kind of been waiting till I've got everything in. Uh, I still haven't got everything in because some of the things that I bought um, ended up uh, getting sold out or whatever, but I was able to uh, put my order in so when they're in stock, I will be able to get the price that they had for Amazon Prime Day. So the first thing that I picked up, which was actually the last thing that I bought, was this new um, generation of Echo Dots. I think the Echo Dot is a pretty affordable option. This was $22, and I mean, like the big one, I don't know quite what the reasoning to get that one is, like what that can do that this can't. Um, because that's like 50 bucks. This was 22 and can, as far as I know, do everything that that one does. Another cool thing about this was I was able to get a six month free, like, subscription to the Amazon Music Unlimited, uh, which is like Apple Music or whatever, or Spotify. So I was able to get that for free with this purchase. So that was actually really nice. Uh, I did want the charcoal colored one, but uh, it was sold out or something. I don't know. It wouldn't let me uh, get the free subscription to the music with the charcoal one, and it didn't even give me a, like a buying option for it. So I ended up doing this one, and it's actually a lot nicer than I was expecting. I also picked up a video game, and I recently got a Switch probably about a month ago, and because I've wanted one for a while, and I just finally got around to getting it. And I only had one other game, which was Super Smash Brothers. I bought that when I bought the Switch. And the games are just so expensive, so I wasn't gonna, or wasn't planning on buying too many games, at least right away, unless there were some pretty nice deals. And so I happened to go on Amazon Prime during the Prime Day and found that they had a couple of the games for sale. So I got two Switch games, but I only have one with me. The other one was one of the ones that had been um, sold out or whatever, wasn't available, and I ordered it at that price. So this one is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. This was on sale for 50% off of the MSRP. So I got it for 30 bucks, um, actually a little under 30 bucks because I used uh, a gift card. They did have some pretty good deals for like gift cards and stuff. Uh, one of the things was if you had bought $25 worth of gift card, like Amazon gift cards during Prime Day, you would get a $5 credit. So I did that um, so I could get the $5 credit because uh, I knew I was going to spend more than $25 on Amazon that day anyway. And then I also had done one for the photos. There's like a photo app um, and if you have Prime you get free unlimited um, photo storage or whatever and if you had uploaded a photo to that um, within a certain time frame you would have got a $15 credit to your account so that was pretty cool. Um, and now onto the Blu-rays which I'm sure most of the people oh wait the other Switch game that I got I didn't mention was the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and I got that for $20 um, unless they cancel it. Uh, other than that, uh, $20, and I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's about $30, uh, maybe $36 if you were to like, buy it at Walmart or something. So that uh, was, I thought, was a pretty good deal. All right, so now into Blu-rays and DVDs. There is one DVD that I have, or one Blu-ray that I haven't gotten, and that was the Captain Marvel Blu-ray. They had it for $19.99, but then there was a thing that you could save like four dollars at checkout so that put it about fifteen ninety nine and then I had a, the gift card um, one of the credits or whatever so I applied it to that and got it for like like seven or something um, because I had another item in my order and I guess it split the um, gift card so we'll go on to the blu-rays and such that I picked up which I actually didn't pick up any blu-rays um, I got one DVD 
Well, I guess I lied. So, Blu-ray is Captain Marvel. I got one DVD set, and then I also, everything else is 4K. Uh, I thought that that was probably, that was what they had the most of, like, deal-wise. And they were all about the price that I was willing to pay for a 4K, which is about $15, I think, is a good price. Um, Unless it's like one that I really, really want, and then I would pay maybe like 20 but I think that the current price is a little too steep for me to like start buying them regularly. So this first one that I picked up was the 4K of Evil Dead, which is technically an upgrade to my collection. I have the regular Blu-ray of this, but when I saw that the 4K was only like... I don't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was like eight, seven ninety nine or eight, something like that. Um, but I was like, yeah, I, I'll I'll pick that up and I'll sell my other one. So I picked this one up and was pretty happy to have gotten this one. And then I also picked up this one, which I believe was fifteen dollars. But this is one that I needed as, to upgrade as well. I had sold the DVD or the Blu-ray a long time ago because as soon as I heard that this was coming out on 4K and that there were some new exclusive features, I was like, yeah, I'm going to pick that up on 4K. So this is Pet Cemetery. This is the original Pet Cemetery, And I had the Blu-ray and when I heard about this, I had sold it because there are new... Um, Special features, and it says, Fear and Remembrance, a look back at the classic with the cast and crew of 2019 Pet Cemetery. Revisitation, a new interview with Mary Lambert. Director Mary Lambert shares memories of the movie. Three behind the scene, new behind the scenes image galleries, and a, I think a new commentary by uh, Mary Lambert as well. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to pick that up. Um, the only other one that I know... Because that's one of the other ways that I would rebuy a Blu-ray or a Blu-ray on 4K is if it was cheap, like The Evil Dead, or if it had exclusive features um, that aren't on the D or Blu-ray. And the only other one that I can think of off the bat that has that is the American Psycho, which was also directed by Mary Shelley or Mary uh, Lambert, not Mary Shelley. I also picked this one up. This was considered a deal of the day. And this was $13, or $13.99, I believe. And this is the Aquaman 4K. Uh, this is the first 4K that I've gotten of any of the movies in the DC Extended Universe. Um, I do enjoy it. I have watched all of the movies up until Shazam. I haven't seen Shazam. Um, I hadn't seen Aquaman, but now that I have it, I watched it. And Aquaman was actually pretty good, and I was... Um, pretty happy with it for the most part so I really enjoyed this and like I don't have okay so I don't have a 4k player I we just recently got a 4k TV um, at home but I don't have one at like at school or whatever and I don't have a 4k player but I was able to figure out a way around it because the digital copies redeem for the movie in um, ultra high definition, or what is it? It's like um, ultra H, yeah, ultra HD and high dynamic range and all that. So they were deemed for that. So I was able to watch it on Voodoo in 4K. So that was pretty nice. I also picked this one up, which I went and saw this in theaters. But I haven't really seen it since. I actually just watched it last night. But this is Warm Bodies. This was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed the different take on the zombie genre. I remember this came out pretty much at a time where <laughs> zombies were everywhere. It was like almost like close to the beginning of The Walking Dead or right um, at that point where The Walking Dead started getting like super popular. And I was on that train for a little while, and then it just got... I I don't even remember the last season I watched. Maybe like season 5 or whatever. So, uh, we have this. Uh, so, one thing that's kind of weird... This was this came in the like interesting um, like curved uh, slipcovers, which I don't know why they 
stop doing that because this one has the squared off edges and so does the Pet Cemetery. so it must just be older releases. And then the last thing that I picked up is the Rocco's Modern Life Collector or the Complete Series which is on 8 disc set. This was like $35 and I ended up getting it for like $15 I think. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, I did, I do know that, um, Scream Factory has one, uh, but I think it's out of print. Um, this one did come with a new poster by the artist, so that was really cool, and, um, I'm pretty happy to watch it. I haven't, I was never, like, I've seen episodes of Rocco's Modern Life, but I never got into it too much, um, but now that I've got the entire series, I'll be able to watch those. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. So let me know in the comments down below what you picked up from Amazon Prime Day and all that stuff. What you think about what I picked up, if you got any really good deals or anything like that. So if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, please give it a like as well. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.